So next, we're gonna have, be having a monologue called "The Care and Fitting of the of Baby Bird." So please welcome to the stage, Ashley Van Kirk. I'm trying to work on my karma. I know that's a pagan thing, right? From India or China? I'm not sure. I, I've been to school and everything, and I don't know that. But the golden rule, right? That's karma, right? Do unto others? I try to be a good person, not to be mean, work, pay my bills, not to spit on children or kick dogs or run over bicyclists. Oh, it's so tempting, right? When they ride right down the middle of the road in their silly, too tight outfits. I mean, come on, don't you just want to smash them with your car and laugh? Then back up and run them over again? <laughs> Maybe that's just me. <laughs> karma. <coughs> I was talking about karma. What would my karma be if I drank a gallon of Tylenol? Connie, I can hear you saying in your Sean Connery voice. I imagine you, God, have the voice of Sean Connery, and that the devil has the voice of Cary Grant. Don't ask why, that's just what I hear in my head. Connie, says God, it was going to get better the very next day. You were going to get an interview. You were going to be published in some vastly important New York poet magazine. And you were going to win the lottery, many millions, if you had just waited a day, only a day. I have been waiting for the good things to happen for years now. I've been patient. I go out of my way for my friends when possible. Is that why I never get anywhere? Because I wait? Because I try to be as small as possible? Not to make any noise? I even write polite poems about nature and waterfalls. I write pretty shallow poems to please everyone, and they please no one. Oh, I drown in debt. I, I take jobs that eat my soul, and I... Well, let's be honest. It's just us three here. I wish I had died at birth. Because this is far, far harder to wake up to every day and not face things than, than being a soccer mom with a Down syndrome baby. And so I take care of baby birds my dad knocked out of their nest. I know, I'm too old to care about this. I should be all grown by now and be all indifferent to everything but my credit report. I will never be a mom or a wife. I've spent my life in school working crappy jobs and waiting for the mail, or, or lately, the emails that don't get sent. Or the emails that say, sorry, we don't want your shallow crap. Good luck not being a writer, ever. Don't you just wish rejection letters were honest? That the editors would say plainly, once and for all, you can't write. Try marine biology or dead animal removal. I hear they're always hiring. I would so love to get that letter. Then I could finally stop wishing, hoping, waiting, dreaming. I could stop all that crap. It'd be so nice. razor blade. This, this being in limbo all the time, it's cruel. Hang in there, you'll get there someday. Believe in your dreams, my friends keep saying. They have jobs and lives. They have money in the bank and go on vacations. They have children. Some of them even have grandchildren by now. I have nothing. I have nothing to show. No awards, no college teaching position just until my book gets published, crapola. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get on this, God. I didn't mean to get all maudlin. 